Before I start this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. Also, if you guys do want to end up seeing an episode 2, just so I know if I should put, you know, time into these, you know, just in case you guys don't like them, comment down below if you do want to see an episode 2 and like the video, just so I know. But on with the video. There's not really anything I can say for this intro except this axe is going to be turned into a few billion coins at the end of this series. And hopefully we get to actually do some building and hopefully I can actually have a good looking island. So of course we're going to start this playthrough just like any other, we're going to harvest all the wheat. Then we're going to make a quick expansion and just expand the farm so we can get some farming XP going and just have a small income. So I remembered that wood is really useful for upgrading like a bunch of stuff until I realized I kind of need to sell them to actual players and uh, yeah it wasn't really worth it for me early game so um yeah we're not going to do any more of that wood farming. Finally my head got straight okay so the plan here was basically just to kill a bunch of slimes hoping that we are able to get a pink sticky gear. Now what's so special about a pink sticky gear? Well it can make smelters, you know, industrial smelters, they're pretty good. But even alone you can probably sell a pink sticky gear from around 500k to maybe a 1 million coins up to that. Which is really good, it's just we currently can't sell that since we don't have economy level 25. But we do have a discord community, by the way link down in the description if you want to join our discord server. So I just went into general on my server and was like, hey, anyone want to trade a pink sticky gear for like the value in crops? And someone did. Let's go. So I got all the crops, sold them all, and boom, we got level 25 economy. Originally when planning this video, I was going to stop there, but uh, that's a two minute video. Yeah, nah. We're going to make an onion farm, something that I did in episode four, I believe, in my last series. Uh, so I think it's time to do that in episode one. That'll be easy, right? Right? I needed a lot of money, like a lot, and I would also need a lot of farming XP, so uh, this was not going to be a very pleasant journey. I'd have to do a lot of farming and a lot of pink sticky gear grinding. But, 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 the power of the treasure chest, $500,000 pretty much every day. I, I think you get the treasure chest or treasure map every day, right? I don't know. If you do, then it's like 500k every time you log in. So uh, that's kind of good. So I got my first treasure chest, sold it, and got my first paycheck. This is enough motivation to do a little bit more grinding of those sticky gears. And then I'll come back tomorrow, get another treasure chest, and so on. Anyway, now I had the money from all the treasure chests selling and pink sticky gear selling. It was time to make it. Oh, wait. Oh, I need to make stairs. And to get stairs, I need a stone, I need a woodcutter. To get a woodcutter, I need to smelt a lot of iron. So here comes the most tedious thing you can do in islands. So after about, I would say, 40 minutes of just mining coal, iron, smelting iron, and then getting into my woodcutter, I then had enough stairs. Oh, this took way too long. But now we have the stairs uh, to make our build, because they were very important for this build. If you do want to see this build, like, on how to do it, and like, the design and everything, I will have that on a card in the top right if you want to click on that. So now I had the structure complete. Now I didn't quite have enough conveyors, because now I'm going to have to get a little bit more money, buy some, like, actually normal conveyors that don't cost an absolute fortune per conveyor, and I would need to up my farming level. So until then, it's wheat farming time. So I'm gonna basically just have wheat on the farm I made at the very start of the video. And I am also going to put wheat in this farm. This should give me enough farming XP if I do leave this overnight, which I did. Also, I finally found some conveyors for sale. This uh, was a lot rarer than I thought it would be. Also, it's the next day, so cha-ching, plus 500 grand. Yeah, we're at 4 minutes 20 and I'm almost out of footage. Uh, this isn't too good. Well, uh, it's onion farm time. So this is like the extremely awesome task of destroying my old farm and realizing I wasted all those all that money because I'm never going to use those wheat totems again. How lovely! But yeah, basically I had finally hit level 30, 40? I forgot. I don't know what level it is. But I finally hit the level I needed. 
and it was time to swap out all of the wheat and wheat totems, add some conveyors, and turn everything into onions! Yeah, it turns out onion seeds and onion totems aren't cheap, and I was currently broke because I'd spent everything on conveyors. Yeah, it was time for me to do a little bit of selling of all of my gears, because I didn't find anywhere to sell my green stickies before. Now I found a place, perfect place. Also, reason I haven't been able to sell everything I had at one store is, has anyone else got this or is it just me? Because when I open a vending machine on a published island on someone else's island, I just get stuck as soon as I exit out. I just can't move. Because then I have to literally rejoin, I can't just reset. Does this happen for anyone else? If so, please tell me. And if it's, if there's a fix, I don't know if there's a fix or not, but if there is, please tell me. I really want to know how to fix it, because it is really annoying. It makes me have to spend so much more time at the shops. Also, looking back on the footage, it looks like it was the other way around. I had spent all my money on the totems and the seeds, and I need the money for the conveyors. So, now we have the conveyors. Awesome, let's move on to the farm. Now, I would do a time lapse, which would be pretty good for the video. But my editing software crashes every time I try to do that, and, well, I don't really want to risk it crashing again, because that, yeah, it's just really annoying. So instead, you're just going to be hearing me talk about certain parts of the building. Um, not as entertaining, but, uh, yeah. So this here is obviously me just swapping out all the totems. I've destroyed all the wheat and all of the wheat totems. So now it's, I'm basically just putting all of my stuff down. Once this is all down, I also have a treasure chest that I'm probably going to sell for an extra 500k, and we are probably going to be ending up getting a, uh, what's, what are those things called? The storage things? You know, the things that put stuff in crates. So we'll probably get one of those, and we're probably going to AFK this thing a few times to see how much money we can earn from this. That will be in episode 2, or if I don't make an episode 2, I'll tell you guys how much we're making from the farm. Which, by the way, is up to you if we make an episode 2. I'm going to assume you want an episode 2 if you've made it this far, or you've just been listening to this while doing something else, I don't know. But since we are coming to an end here, I do want to quickly say, if you did make it this far, just so I know who actually does watch my entire videos, comment down below... Onion Farm 2000. Onion Farm 2000. Yep, that's, the, that's what we're calling this. Also, next episode, we will officially make the statue for Sir Ducklin. If you don't know who that is, uh, that is who we worship. Uh, ducks are our gods around here. And eventually, we are hoping to make uh, big sacrifices of money to the duck gods. Uh, we're going to make a duck statue, and then we're probably going to sacrifice items worth millions of coins to them when we're a little bit richer, because obviously, we're not going to do that at the moment. We would go completely broke, and would have to take out a loan to do so. But yeah, that is basically going to be the end of episode one. If you have made it this far, you are an absolute legend. Also, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. Like, I've been wanting this number for a very, very long time. So thank you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!